and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vimer Dinger control. Uh, gonna try Vi with Heimerdinger. It's our second of three different Vi decks today. Um, Heimerdinger is just a really good card that uh, can make a whole bunch of turrets, especially the floor be gone. So these are, of course, the most important ones. Gonna be using Vi as kind of like a Vi is like the like the mid range card in this deck to help slow down the aggro decks and help us stabilize and you know kind of be re removal like part removal with the challenger part defense with a, a large tough creature and help the game go longer help us get Heimerdinger uh, in play and everything uh, we've got a bunch of new we're pairing with Ionia we've got a bunch of new Ionia cards that are pretty excited about uh, we got a good draw to a four mana draw to that if you played two spells the last round cost two less so two mana draw to is pretty awesome um, and then if so spells are of course going to be really important to play if we've uh, played two spells this round then this thing just goes into play uh, so you can we can have a burst speed three two for like a blocker and everything like that card quite a bit and i do like eye of the dragon a whole lot this is just a small investment i've seen some people playing this vibrant Dinger control without playing eye of the dragon but i just really like this card um maybe i'm overrating it maybe um you know, like these draglings don't have um challenger or anything but i really like this it only costs two and it refills one of your spell mana so it effectively costs one mana and can can do a whole lot for just a one mana investment so I like it quite a bit. I'm playing two Eye of the Dragons over more Solitary Monks. A lot of people like playing more Solitary Monks. Solitary Monk is great on turn three if you've done nothing on turn one or two. But once you start playing other things, it's pretty tough to play Solitary Monk. Like after you have like a Heimerdinger or a Vi, I guess Vi you can pick up to reset the toughness. But really when you have Heimerdinger in play, you really don't ever want to cast Solitary Monk anymore. Um, yeah, you get wrecked by Heimer like almost every draft. Yeah, this card is pretty crazy how powerful it is so let's give it a try let's let's try some vimerdinger control um let's get some wins this does seem like a, a pretty tough metagame to be playing control at least for now um i've i have not really had success with the control decks recently um whenever i've been playing them have been have been having a lot more success with aggro and mid-range but it's also a brand new format um so that's also something that just kind of happens with new formats it's new formats it's almost always better to be proactive and asking the questions than trying to have the um correct questions when you don't really know what questions need to be answered yet So Storm, have you gotten this? Have you gotten this game on your phone yet? Let's see. Let's get rid of this. Do we just like dig for Heimerdinger? I think we do. I think we dig for Heimerdinger. There we go. Sweet. And with like with that being said, I guess I am playing Deny in here. But honestly, Deny has not looked good in this metagame and I could I could actually see completely cutting deny which is weird or like maybe just playing one um yeah like well yeah yesterday I, I uploaded you know like we had the long 12 hour stream yesterday storm we had uh so I uploaded 10 videos in one day and so it's basically, it's going to be really hard for all of those videos to have a lot of views and stuff. So like some, some, uh, like yesterday, so you're going to see that, like, um, you know, maybe people want to watch like four or five videos. And so there's a couple of videos that most people skipped that, you know, I didn't do well with and stuff like that. Hey, Matt, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. Thanks for coming on over from YouTube. All right, let's uh, attack. Sounds good. 
We certainly want to have three spell mana banked for whenever we play for turn five, because we want to have turn five, Heimer, Flash of Brilliance, and then also Twin Disciplines. So that means um, that, you know, we have to, we're going to have to bank some mana. Right now, that looks like something very easy to do. We don't really have things to play anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, that could be that could be a good video there, Matt. Um, I'm not sure. You're covered. I'm not sure if we know exactly what those are yet, but yeah, that makes sense. I understand what you're saying, like um, what the different decks are. I think probably the the way to do a video like that would be um, whenever. Whenever the meta really settles down and there's like some more popular decks, like maybe a video of like how to play against each of like the different types of decks, like what cards are going to be real important. Uh, man, if I play anything that I don't have Heimerdinger next turn, like I want. All right, so my plan here is Dang, should have done the plus 3 with the twin disciplines. That was what I wanted to do mostly was the plus 3 with the twin disciplines, but decided to go with that so I could save 2 mana because by saving 2 mana, I play Vi the next turn and then after uh, playing Vi on turn six, I would have Heimerdinger with three mana, and I could do the whole Flash of Brilliance thing. Soldiers, to me. Hmm. Oh wait, that thing's not tough anymore, is it? Still probably not worth it. All right, we're just using our mana. Nice, you got a Vi on the capsule. Awesome, Scrub Lord. PNZ region done. Nice, good to hear. Oh, Vi, and your punchlines. That's what I meant to do. There we go. Alright, so 10. We could have repost, I guess. It's still worth it. Gotta, gotta kill that Cythria. Darn it.
guess I should have gone for something smaller. They did have the, the repose, the, the one card that really hurt me. So repost kills me. They have another one. Can I basically can I win if I chump block with the Heimerdinger? And I think the answer is no. It's just not gonna be my day today, is it? Some days it's not your day. Now it looks like today for us. That looks like today. Yeah, the two Sithria... I mean, it's the same... The Sithria is the same character. So yeah, the, there's... Um, yeah, there's multiple Sithria cards. Um, it's just like the same character at a different point in their life. Um... I think, and like, you see Cythria in the art of different cards, like in, uh, you see Cythria in the art on Garen. Yeah, and I think there was another one too, right? Another Cythria. Our turn five is going to be very good. Oh yeah, that yeah. There's the the four mana three three Cythria. Yep, that's true. There's that one too. be gone. Why would they stun that enemy? Like, what, did they expect me to attack with Heimerdinger? see. Alright, so right now we have 8 damage up top. Um, yeah, we'll just save. We'll save Heimerdinger. Certainly consider just using that um, as like a, a plus spell to do more damage. Because that would like, we could have done 14 if I would have just used that as a, a plus spell to, to do more damage. Because I, I have the, like, the more high redingers. Like, we could have let the high redinger die. Yeah, so I would have put him down to 6. But this should be fine. Oh, yeah. That high redinger was completely ridiculous. Getting 3-3-3-1 three, 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 elusives. That is ridiculous.
That was stun. No stun for you. Yeah, sometimes you get you get flash of brilliances with Heimerdinger like that. It's yeah, it, it, it's completely busted. Those two together. GGs. All right, we're facing Karina Control. That Karina Control. Like we actually, you know, that's a deck that can kill a bunch of three-one elusives. Looking for Heimerdinger. I know the, in the um, really not, really there's not really much of a difference between Heimer Karma and Weimerdinger. Um, yeah, you know, you're just playing Karma, you're playing Vi, but besides those two, you're playing basically the same card, so there's not really a difference to be honest. Play this 3 2 to keep them from attacking without a lease. Alright, so no, f no flash of brilliance. I don't like doing this, but we have to, uh, you know, I'd rather have the mana for after we play Heimerdinger, but we can't let them uh, level up the Elise. Kind of glad we drew that to be able to actually do something. Didn't really want to just go twin disciplines, give this thing plus three, plus zero to make a turret. Do I play Progress Day and let them kill Heimerdinger? I get an 8-8. Eight, eight, and I draw three cards. 
but Heimerdinger definitely dies. It's probably not worth that. Rain from a cloudless sky. Thing is, with all protection spells, nothing to do with them. All I'm doing is just, you know, not putting a fast enough clock they could just sit back and wait till Ledros and Karina win the game. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Attack. They're saving this extra 1 1 to be able to block uh, T Hex another turn. Not really good playing Solitary Monk, picking up T-Hex. T-Hex will cost 8 mana if we pick it up. So that doesn't sound like something I want to do. If they get me down with like Ledros and stuff, we do have the ability to life steal this thing. And gain 8 life at some point. May go thermogenic beam here and then we'll barrier probably. Claws of the dragon. Okay. So we're going to take that. Bounce that. No, that's not worth our deny yet. for the win here. And cuz let's see. Oh, that's oh, never mind. That's okay. That's exactly lethal right there. I thought for some reason I thought I was like just missing like where I had to twin disciplines. But now we have all this protection. All right, we will deny that. Barrier that so they don't gain the life. There we go. Two and one.
All right, GGs. That was a good game. Found our found our win there. Karina control still not looking good. <laughs> Tech didn't play very well for us earlier. All right, we're turning it around. Oh no, not Demacia. Demacia is what we lost to earlier. Timer. Yeah. Basically, I just want, like, Heimer plus Flash of Brilliance. It's just such a powerful combo. Yeah, this does feel better than, than Karina Control. I like how proactive we get to be with making these turrets. I like that quite a bit. <laughs> oh, those things are too big. Too big. Hmm. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. To the base. Fight on an empty I mean, I guess I could play. The dragon binds us. One mana thermogenic beam, and then we get the two on life, the two on life steal next turn. That's probably not worth it. Problem is, is like this turn I can't really play stuff if I want to have Heimer Flash of Brilliance next turn. No. Oh. Why? Uh. Why? Alright, playing two spells gets me this Claw of the Dragon. And now we get the the blocker for the Badger. The Badger blocker, and then we'll just play Vi this turn. This is risky. This is probably not worth it. Probably not good risky. Get a single combat. I'll feel bad. Yeah, I should just be passing. I should just be passing. A symbol worth fighting for. They always have the exact card that punishes me. Like ever, <laughs> these Demacia decks always do. I'm like, oh, well, if they have a repose, this is really bad. Boom, they have repose. Oh, if they have single combat, this is really bad. Boom, single combat. Just doesn't. 
Doesn't end well for me. Hey, hey, ramen. Happy Sunday. Flavor and spice. Batter him. I'll do my best. No one goes hungry. Clear your mind. Let your instincts speak. I kind of want to block the 6 4. No. We will trade. Alright, so they have a random elite to go along with that Badger Bear. Needs to have overwhelm. Alright, that is a pretty sweet level up animation. That is a pretty sweet level up animation. I'm right, gonna play that this turn to get my second spell, which I guess I could have done the Shadow Assassin first to see, but I definitely want the second spell. Oh, that's true. If I would I have leveled, if I would have played the other thing first. Um, let's see. Um. Hmm. So we're going to... Our Vi is going to die, but we have a backup Vi, so that's cool. Hey, what's up, Blind? Or Bind. Bind with the host. Sorry, welcome everybody. From Bind Stream. We are playing some Vi control decks today. Puts us down to 10. I think we'll just go to 10. Probably don't really need to block here. Welcome, y'all. <clears throat> We're having Vi and Heimerdinger in this one. So, Heimerdinger. Control. Yep, I understand that life fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the raid. Alright, they got a bunch of badgers. Bunch of badgers. So, like, I, I kind of want to kill the, the Lancer. Like, I'd rather kill a Lancer than one of these, but 
I also don't really want to give them the elite right now. Then maybe they don't have something else to play. And I know I could have played the Shadow Assassin for two more points of damage, but I kept out the Spirit's Refuge in case they had something. Yeah, I, I'm liking this more than the Karina control. That's that's what we just played. We went one and four with that deck, and I didn't. I really did not like that deck. It did not feel very good. Hmm. So twelve mana. I'm casting Spirit's Refuge. I just have to kill this thing. I can't let them give these all um, fearsome. Should be good. We'll see what they get. They may get like a. Okay. It still strikes the unit though, right? Sure hope so. Alright, three and one. Vi did a lot of work for us, getting ten points of damage in, doing some good blocking and everything. Keeping them back. Vi with barrier and lifesteal. You know, like Spirit's Refuge plus Vi. That's a nice combo. Because that's a lot of life that we were gaining with, um, with some of those games. I haven't seen too much Gangplank around. We need to play more Gangplank. All right, three and one. What's that noise? Are they gonna plunder? Definitely have a slow hand. Hapless Aristocrat's not doing a lot of damage. But it does some. And you know, it gets the gangplank triggers, gets plunder triggers, they got stuff like that. Um, we'll be going with the Solitary Monk on turn three. Over Shadow Assassin. Yeah. We're just attacking this turn also. Sometimes you want to play Shadow Assassin first and then pick Shadow Assassin back up. To draw more cards. But we'll go with the Monk. Rex. Oh, Riptide Rex is so cool. No, 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 no. Death. 
things go according to plan, we're going to have one toughness things anyway. I don't really mind that dying. Oh man, we need. Should we just cast two spells? Maybe we should just cast two spells this turn instead of playing Heimerdinger. Those hapless aristocrats kind of are annoying, though, against these. Yeah, they all just come. They all just go into play if we cast two spells. No, I'm gonna play Heimerdinger. They just pass. I kind of like untapping with Heimerdinger. I like untapping with Heimerdinger. Sure, we don't attack for two. Oh well. Hey, Tolly, what's up? Deal, me in. Deal two to the enemy nexus. To all the enemies. Yeah, basically, just get... Um, yeah, tips for a beginner. Um, once you start working on your... Once you start working on, um... Really? I'm sorry. Once you start working on the reward uh, sections, go to like level 8 to get the champion wild card like the champion capsule and then go to the next region and, and keep like leveling them up kind of evenly but work towards getting those champion capsules first Didn't work. <laughs> Don't think that turn worked very well for me. All right, could certainly use some some card draw. We are low on resources, quite low on resources. Boo. Gangplank's at 3 out of 5. That's a good card. Progress day.
Parlay. Gangplank's Parlay. Deal two. I feel like I feel like they have another thing that does one damage. No. Well, not the waste. That's all right. It was a trap. It was certainly a trap. Awesome, Matthew. Back to selling ice cream. Cool. Glad that's working out. Alright, we're gaining life with this 8 8. Get back up to 14. <laughs> yeah, KK, that's me. Draw a gangplank, double all damage dealt by allies. So all allies deal double damage. Each hold the world within. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't really want that uh, Ledros combo to kill me. That'd be bad. Oh no! We're gonna have lethal with like, you know, the get excited. Not anymore. I rarely forget and never forgive. It's so hard not to play Heimerdinger. But I feel like we're not supposed to. I feel like it's better to, to just hold it for fuel. For these two, get excited. Um, so let's see. What am I gonna do? So I'm going to. I can kill Gangplank. Um, that doesn't. I guess then we get a two one, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. So if they don't have instant speed removal, we win. Yeah, we can. We can we can draw three, get the get another T hex, but then I, uh, yeah, I can just go straight to combat. Yeah, 
Plus, we get that sweet T-Hex animation. Boo. I killed my one-two. Oh, and the Heimerdinger. Right, it dealt four damage. It did plus two, then double. Alright, so I never used a Vault Breaker to kill anybody. I feel like if, it, if it's Vi Day, we're playing a bunch of Vi decks, we should use the Vi's Vault Breaker. Yeah, Vault Breaker lethal. <laughs> Vault Breaker lethal. Alright, so we went 4 and 1. This deck definitely felt a lot better than the Karina Control, being able to be a lot more proactive. Heimerdinger was awesome. Vi pretty good in like yeah, Vi was definitely good in uh in this deck. Um yeah, really helped us win a couple of, of games, helped us stabilize, leveled it up, get that five damage to the enemy Nexus, helped as well. Um I liked the Eye of the Dragon. The Eye of the Dragon um basically like the one game against Demacia, we would not have been in it at all if it wasn't for the Eye of the Dragon getting some some blockers. Um, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if it should be like one Eye of the Dragon, two Monk, or the other way around. Kind of got like those three slots for those two. I, I was happy with having two Eye of the Dragon, one Solitary Monk. Um, yeah, I was I was happy with that. But if if you are somebody who's just a huge fan of Solitary Monk and you want to play more, uh, you could take out one Eye for a Monk. Um, I wouldn't really go three Monk, zero Eye of the Dragon. Eye of the Dragon was good. Um, and then yeah, Vi with, Vi with Spirits Refuge was pretty nuts. Right, you know, 10 power, life steal. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think you get... I don't think the... Like, if you if you have a leveled up one and it says just deal 5 to the enemy Nexus, I don't think that 5 would also be life steal from just the language. It doesn't say I deal 5 to the enemy Nexus or Vi, Vi does 5 or anything like that. But, but yeah, we got to gain a ton of life. Um, we had... Uh, I, guess was, I guess it would have been pre-leveled up... Yeah, because we had like a pre-leveled up Vi that was like an, you know, 16-5 or 18-5 or something silly like that. Didn't we? No, it says max is plus 8, plus 0. How did we have... We had one that was huge. I don't remember how. Um, yeah, deck code. Um, copy, paste, there. There you go. Uh, you can always do um, exclamation point deck for the deck command. Like That gets you the link to the deck, and on the top right-hand corner of all the mobile addicts, the links has the export button. Yeah, one was like an 18.6, right? Yeah, I had no idea how that was. Um, no, it was like in my hand whenever I cast it. Um, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe this max plus 8 plus 0 isn't working right now or something. Maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, that was weird. Yeah, whenever... Okay. Oh, when you level up Vi, she shows 18.6 on the level animation because it shows the 8 in addition to this 10. Oh, okay. Does it... Does it... Oh, does it keep that? I guess that's like a... Because it's a permanent buff, and so it buffs into a 10 power, but it keeps the 8. Oh, so it probably just keeps that if she levels up. Because it doesn't... It wouldn't go away. Because it's a permanent buff. So, okay. So you can't. You can have an 18-6 Vi. Oh, you're saying it's a bug? Okay. Because it does say grant that. Okay, it's only visual, but it's a bug. But it's it actually does 10 damage. That's weird. Okay. From the language on the card, it seems like it would be a permanent thing. But yeah, okay. Well, visually, what we saw—if you, if, you know, y'all are saying it's a visual bug, but yeah, we saw it as an 18.6. But anyway, yeah, it was, it was very good. Deep meditation's great. Um, yeah, this—we've been struggling with control decks 
honestly. Um, the last, you know, three, four, five days, like the control decks haven't been doing too well. This one felt pretty good because you got to be so proactive with Heimerdinger. As far as Mulligan goes, I Mulligan very aggressively looking for Heimerdinger. I basically would keep Heimerdinger and uh, Flash of Brilliance because Flash of Brilliance is broken with Heimerdinger. And I'd mulligan most everything else all the time. Sometimes we keep like some Shadow Assassins and, you know, if we need early removal, like Thermogenic Beam is a good card to keep. Um, but kind of besides that, uh, you know, like Refuge, Deny, Meditation, Twin Disciplines, Will of Ionia, like all the, all those cards just get mulliganed away. Um, you know, look, look for Heimerdinger and as many Flash of Brilliances as possible because that combo is pretty broken. All right, but there we go. So that's Weimerdinger Control. That's what we're calling this, combining Vi and Heimerdinger. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, and, you know, of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you're doing with Vi or anything else. You always like seeing those comments from the lovely folks over on YouTube. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.